stream again. Let's see if we get this to work. All right, I have a screen again. Let's see if this actually stays working. Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after I p it picks up a bit, you know? That's like really good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. Alright, alright. Did this literally just freeze again? No, it's just a delay. By the way, did you... Oh, that's Monica. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've really never done this before. Well, now you know everybody's ready. Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Maya and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. <laughs> Alright, I'll go back. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn paper from a spiral notebook. Awesome. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Aww. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. Oh, crap. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poems to first? Ah, right, let's go with Toadette. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. And it's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. This is gonna hurt. Huh? Huh? Well, it's about what I expected for someone like you. It's a little blunt. No. Well, excuse me! It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. <coughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try and die, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I'm lying through my teeth. I like it. What? Just be honest. Or, Just be honest! I am. Why? Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Because I don't. Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. This hurts my throat. So people don't even take my writing seriously. I'm sure they said that about Akira Toriyama. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like 
like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you, hits you hard. I'm not making that joke. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Backs away slowly. But other nice things about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it full flat on purpose. You mean suck? <laughs> it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! <laughs> now I have to go tell Mario he's the princess is in another castle. I'm glad you learned something. Oh, shit. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Age don't mean a thing. Yeah, I guess not. Well, to a degree. I decided to humor her with that last comment. Okay. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Good boy. Alright, let's go talk to Maya. This is a good poem, dirty old perf. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. That's so many wrong jokes there. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. So I really hurt my voice. Well, I went over. I went an hour on the first part. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. Just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Hey, you never said she was bright. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I will, I'll I'll break my promise. See. It's like I said before, dirty old perv. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. Am I writing a poem or indulging your fetish? This actually does pick up the mouse clicks. Oh yeah, this game does not like the fact that I'm streaming it. Then again... Uh, then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you'll have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Again, not going to make that joke. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Notice me, Senpai. Now you read my poem too, right? Can I read my poem? I want to see what crap came together. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. There's such. Oh, yeah, let me do it like I did the other one proper. <coughs> Dear sunshine, the way you show through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you tasting me? Trusting me? To, to, God, it's freaking fun. Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I'm not afraid I'm wearing a tie. You go home. Look at the sky. It's time for lunch. Hats are good. That was a Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference for you. Game, can I click? Wow. Oh, I have to click off the poem. Sayori! This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just, just a little bit! You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Uh... 
Yes, yes, you can. I forgot to do it last night! Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean! I still tried my best! It's not my fault, I just suck! Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. Yeah, it was. It had potential, then it turned into, I want breakfast. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yes, stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! Alright, not for nothing, Sayori's awesome. Even though you're late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that was so much fun! Great, I got to tune it. I can't do the, uh... <clears throat> the, the voices separately. Monica's the best! Ah, uh, yeah. Next time... But next time, I won't forget. I'm not gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Let's show Monica. Hi, dirty old perv. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah, giggity. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be af of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going to get the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha! Don't worry, dirty old perv. You know that's making me feel even creeped more creeped out when you lean like that with. The name being Dirty Old Perv. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? <laughs> but it's a sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. <laughs> I can't keep the voice. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, dirty old perv. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Yeah, I can talk. I agree. I, <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Here's the key. Keeping expectations low is how you achieve synergy. <laughs> that way it always counts when I put in some effort. Ha ha ha, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Yeah, I was trying to write for her. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It could take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really ask though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about it. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. <coughs> oh, God, this hurts. <laughs> it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Like a couple hours of streaming. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. 
That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be um, her. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to brag. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? I don't suppose I have a choice. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. I, that does mean I'm always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. Howdy, 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 howdy. I reel blind. I can't read that. Is that I reel blind like a film left out in the sun? But it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of Meaningless Image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. But when he put it in, it was real tight. I'm done reading God this. Damn it. <laughs> I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking, and... Yeah, I ended up having to, like, restart both uh, the game itself and then the uh, OBS. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you can call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. I'm a dipshit. Aha, uh -huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten popular nowadays. That's it, a lot of people have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, sounds like she was being stalked. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Her dad's a pervert. <laughs> that's, that's so screwed up. You are having way too much fun with these voices. Yeah, it's hurting my throat. I've gotten a couple people to come in and out of the stream too, so that's cool. That's about influenced by palms a bit. Well, I was gonna say I could happily do the do voices if I had a uh, one to one timing. Yeah, uh, I keep forgetting that delay. Twitch live streams a couple seconds behind. Mm -hmm. Oops. I'm the kind of I, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, I skipped the line here by accident. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day that I didn't ask for. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Or two big round ones. <laughs> if you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Is that a metaphor for something else, Monica? <laughs> Holy cow. So just move your hand and go with the flow. Oh god, that is a metaphor for something else. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? Well, gee. I'm gonna go with Yuri. Hi, boobs. Who wears a. Why do they all wear the 1980s Wendy's uniform? The weird bow tie thing. Hey, Yuri is the best one because she has long purple hair. Yes, I like the purple hair and the purple eyes. And the purple tits. What? Yeah. And she's got big boobs. <laughs> As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Yeah, because I intentionally tried to make it for her. Oh my goodness, exceptional! Oh, what was that? Huh? D did I say that out loud? Oh my goodness. Yuri covers first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Oh, poor thing. Like, oh my goodness, uh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh... 
going to hate me. Um? You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? Well, that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? See, I, I can't separate her and Monica's voice anymore. My throat's getting hoarse. Ah, ha, ha. Yuri takes a breath. So, oh my goodness, like, gag me with a spoon. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Or I just clicked on words. <laughs> really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming- oh, that's me. Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. I see a pair of compliments. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? All the sexual euphemisms in the game. Yuri stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. Paul? Oh my goodness, I know that. I just mean, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find the excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Oh my goodness, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I learned to keep a, pick up on a lot of them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick writing separate from the topic matter and they form the fit to do it together. <sighs> Would you be interested in reading my fanfiction? Yeah, I made that joke earlier. No! <laughs> <laughs> the end result is that both the style Turn and expressiveness are weakened. No, what, what tells you they're new writers is when they write a shipping fiction. Once Yuri finds her train of thought... Friends with, we're friends with the shipping thing. Ship, well, shipping, uh... <laughs> someone just shipping stuff. When I become more established yeah. and popular here on Twitch, I'm gonna dedicate oh, a day yeah. where I just read bad fanfiction. Alright, Yuri, I'm skipping some of your dialogue. Not just finding them, but building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Like, oh my goodness. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Yeah, I can't do her and Monica separate anymore. Natsuki can be a little bit biased. Yeah, Natsuki's why I can't talk right now. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people. I gotta stop the voices for a minute. Sorry. Oh shit, what'd I just do? Stream still going? Uh, it, currently it's on a... It, yeah, it's still going. Okay. I accidentally clicked on the, the, the website. Whoops. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh, that's me. Please do. Let me guess, it's gonna be about killing yourself. I'd love to share my thoughts and process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if this is a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is I supposed to be a literature club. I can already tell you Yuri's poem. It's really, really easy. Darkness imprisoning me. Ominously, absolute horror. Yeah. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath my amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms breathing air of the present. I like that it's written in like different fonts so it's hard to read. The lights flicker. I flicker back. And the second part of the poem is, and then I go home and slit my wrist. Yuri. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, honey, you haven't seen me, right? What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. No, it took me a while to figure out how to click off the poem. <laughs> ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Shitty. <laughs> eh? What's the Canadian now? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. 
It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Yeah, I bet you do. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Okay, I can't. <laughs> eh. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? What the hell is hoo hoo? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, dirty old perp. You're such a dumbass. Really? You must have totally admit. Yeah, you did, dumbass. It was about her standing in a streetlight. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Yeah, sometimes they write things that inspire people to go make an assassination attempt. God, that was dark. <laughs> In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. Okay, click. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. I see two things to learn from her. There they are. <laughs> Again, I'm not that perverted in real life. I apologize to any women watching this stream. I am incredibly offended. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know? I was really nervous about doing all- Oh god, shut up! <laughs> I'm tired of doing your voice. Phew! Yeah, that's my fault. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. You didn't tell me. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even though it's just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. Stand up to theirs? Theirs. Your Oklahoma is showing, Alan. I'm not from Oklahoma. No, but you lived there, and you did pick up a little bit of an accent. Yeah, I did. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. But you know it's bad if I start saying crick. Across the room, Sayori Maya and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper for sharing their perspective poems. Oh, I'm picturing in my head is just some red-headed kid being shared back and forth. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. But the, oh yeah, that's right. These two get into a fight. Alec! Oh, it's nothing! Nasuki, the bitch dismissively returns to the poem uh, to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. I guess you could say my throat's starting to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Just do one of their voices as box, just because. <laughs> ah! Cute! Ah! Bird pun! Bird pun! <laughs> I guess my goose is going. Ah! Bird pun! <laughs> Final line of that character. Yes. For those of you that don't know what the hell we're talking about, uh, I have a member of our D and D, well, two members of our D and D campaign, and chat with me here and my character is a tengu named box and a tengu is a humanoid bird race so i make a running joke whenever we play of doing bird puns the last if his character ever dies the last line he ever will say will be i guess my goose is cooked ah bird pun <laughs> and then immediate death follows and then immediate death Natsuki, I need you to die first because your voice is really hurting me. 
Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Ah! It's, it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. I'll be right back. I have to tell Mario the princess is in another castle. <coughs> Dear God. Ah! Okay, no. You know what you should make Natsuki, Natsuki's voice? What? Go look up the YouTube. When you got a chance, go look up the YouTube video "Super Toad 67" by Vine Sauce. Yes. <laughs> and just have it be Toad screaming noises. <laughs> How can that be cute? Or if my neighbor Al next door can hear me, he's like, "What the hell's he doing in there?" <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I, I know that. I just meant. The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice, you stupid bitch. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Um, let me posture my boobs some more. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Jesus hey. Christ, Natsuki's a cunt. Yeah. Anybody to chat? Hello? I accidentally closed off the chat room. And we're back! Alright, cool. Well, you currently have few viewers. I know that one of them is me, one of them is, I think, Q, if he's watching. Yeah. Don't know who the third one is. Yeah, hello, third one. Thank you for tuning in. I got up to four before. Huh? I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. So, nobody. Which people did, by the way! <coughs> yeah, but Sayori likes everything. And dirty old perv did <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did you name your character that? Because I'm playing a game, a weeaboo game, with four high school girls with giant- Well, three with giant tits and one with no tits. Jesus Christ. Basically three big boob girls and magical girl Ore. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, go fuck yourself. I probably should swear I need these to be like okay streams. X kills me. Dex, 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 dex. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the <laughs> offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Like my dick. Which I haven't yet. No, you have not. <laughs> Eventually, though. Eventually, yeah. she will get that hot D. And Dirty Old Perv liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ow. Uh-huh. That's not what I... Uh... Yo, you're tossed. Yuri stands up as well. You know, it would work better if you animated them sitting. <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous that dirty old perv appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Ah! How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice, Mark? Are you that full of yourself? Ugh. No. If I was still full of myself, I'd be Monica. I would go deliberately out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Okay, so sum this up. They're, they're, they're fighting, and here comes Maya slash Sayori. You uh, really shouldn't call her Maya. Is everyone okay? Like, I... Well, I you know what? Think you shouldn't call her Maya, just saying. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as dirty old pervs started showing up. You know, maybe I'd like you more. Oh my goodness, I mean, not it's so in good. Your name. She could do with like a nice uh, push up bra or something. <laughs> um, not so okay, that's a little. I can't do both your voices at the same time. This doesn't involve you. I don't like you guys fighting. 
Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they no just noticed I was standing there. Dirty old- oh, <laughs> wrong one. Dirty old perv! Whoops, where'd the game go? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! And she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective! I don't know what's causing it, because Alt-1 isn't working, but Alt-Shift-1 is working, Sarah. I have no idea. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place! Time for audience participation in the chat. Which voice is the most annoying? Best girl. <laughs> What's the point in making your palms all convoluted for no reason? Just sound smart? I mean, it should jump out the reader, not force them to have to figure it out! Help me explain that to her, dirty old perv! <coughs> well, oh my goodness, what way? There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Actually, technically, language is arbitrary. Avoiding them is not un only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. I like how I gave the smart one a valley girl uh, voice. You understand that, right, dirty old perv? Um... Well, <laughs> abort mission. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. All right, should I do uh, Natsuki, Yuri, or bail and get Sayori to bail me out? Yuri. Natsuki. Natsuki. Fuck yeah! Fuck Natsuki. Natsuki. Raven hair! Raven hair! That's okay. Should I pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different? That's not what happened at all! Oh good, did I just kill Natsuki off first? Spoiler warning for anybody watching this that's unfamiliar with this IP. So, you don't remember anything about this game, do you? I haven't played this all the way through, I just know people die. Oh. Well, well, that. But yeah, here's the you thing. You really shouldn't be calling. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is. Why not? Is, they're still putting because. feelings into it, and it becomes something really because personal. what? No last names. It's literally a nickname. It's not even her actual name. Who? Maya. Oh, yeah. No one's going to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He gets paranoid about this kind of stupid shit. That's not why I'm getting paranoid about it. I, I think it's no, he's not wrong, though. Poor taste. Uh, somebody called me an ass in chat earlier, so I don't know who that was. I sent them a friend request. <laughs> 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 I appreciate all feedback. And those of you watching that are unfamiliar with me, I'm, this is Chocobo Choke Slam. I have a YouTube channel where I do a wrestling podcast. I post these uh, Twitch streams and I do Let's Plays. Just finished a Let's Play series on Slate Aspire. Or, as it really should be called, Try and Fail Miserably. <laughs> Probably be a regular series. Yuri means well, she just told you how she felt. Not so that's key, I think that's a recent off. action going on here. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Gary apologized. Don't you think you should tell? Yee! Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. And she craps her pants. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk to clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? Fuck all of you! I don't want to take a walk! 
They'll spare me from that! They'll look at you all, you assholes! See, I like my dialogue better. Without warning, Bitch snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumbles up the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! Well, she really didn't need to do that. <coughs> I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not gotten frustrated after being treated like that? Plus with those tips. Yeah. Let's just be <laughs> honest, you have boobs. <laughs> you have boobs, she doesn't. Therefore, you are better. Yo, I'm wrong. Enjoy that in high school, because it doesn't work that way after high school. No, I'm just hate No, 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 it works that way in college for freshman year, and then you get too old nope. for the teachers to want to ruin you. Yeah, I got a girl in my class that's, a, I think, a freshman. She's cute, but I think she's not understanding that being cute doesn't get you anywhere anymore. You either need it to have a range or a personality. Nothing. Yep, one of the two. I don't think any less of God's me. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, dirty old perv. You're too kind. Wait, I'm doing, uh, what's her name again, Monica? I'm thankful to have a part, have you part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, the one thing that Natsuki said about you know, I would never do anything so shameful. I right, what did I click? What did I skip? So a. Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. I'm not going. I'm gonna go make some tea. Ah, good idea. This shit's about to get weird, isn't it? Make enough for more than one person, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. I'm How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. I'm a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Your dialogue a lot better, Ellen. <laughs> Dirty old perv, how about you? Should name myself Senpai. Oh god, no. <laughs> would oh. make this so much better. It's because it's because this is the trash stream, so yeah. Oh yeah. by the way, uh play around with reloading saves. Oh I know, there's a bunch of stuff in this. Well, that's probably for after the first playthrough, actually. Never yeah, I, 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 I don't have any old, older, large, longer saves. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better, because, to be honest, they sucked. Okay, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with my newfound determination. Dirty old perv! Ready to walk home? Wait, what happened to T? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It's truly been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki? By the way, call me Maya! Does that kind of thing happen- Oh, that's me still, damn it! <laughs> Does that thing kind of thing happen often? By the way, call me Maya! And no! Oh my god. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. I should call them Natsuki and Yuri, Slinky and Puffy. <laughs> you know, it's fucking wonderful! You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. 
I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! <coughs> you know, dirty old perv! It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club! Yeah, baby. Drop that beat. Oomph, oomph, oomph. <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. It's not like I'm just going to mysteriously be killed off or anything. Sigh. Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but I want to get laid. <laughs> Basically, I just said this sentence. Does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Ah, uh, stream froze. Alright. Let's do this! My name is Jeffrey. Oh, damn it, I got to do another There poem. we go. Tragedy. Sayori, you kind of scare me. Why were you jumping to depression? Tears. Damn it. For the glory of Satan, of course. Oh god, misfortune made Sayori jump. I'm kind of nervous for her. Whoops. Damn it. Incongruent. Agonizing. Yeah, I got more of the purple here. Let me grab some water. And we're playing a game that's a bit perverted. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. I'm trying to see who wants the D. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, dirty old perv! Yo, Maya Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hey, <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in a club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. What's sad is this game's pretty tame for a, for the style of game. Yeah. Well, it's not meant to be like a, a straight-on per pervy game. It's got the horror twist to it. Well, it's not like a dating sim. It, it's not like an no. It's it's game. not like a it's not a dating <laughs> sim or an age game. It's actually a game. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. You know, that, that, that other kind of hungry. Will you come oh, with, me, I mean, with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take Sayori, a look at... God, this sure is Maya. Hungry? Why don't we take a look at your purse, Maya? Eh? Uh, are you sure you're hungry and not just incredibly thirsty? Why that all... Can't be Why that all of a sudden? She has so much thirst. I, did, I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Sayori na nervously, neighborously, <laughs> make up words, nervously retrieves her coin purse. It's empty. Yeah, hi, Maya. Ah, I wanted you to buy me stuff. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori Maya. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought a snack before coming into the club room. See what I mean when I'm saying this is Maya? <laughs> yes. Oh my fucking gods. Yes. Wow. I, check this board. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. Fuck you, you poor piece of shit. Get the tits. <laughs> Gross. Oh, Sayori has boots. 
If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to... F no, that's not true. Aha! Yuri suddenly giggles. And jiggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, always. Aha! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell dirty old perv to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Brought to you by... <laughs> Every financial institution in America. <laughs> in order to gain credit, you must first go into debt. Yeah. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. No. I want you to get on all fours and I'm going to spank you. And my character's reaction after that. Ah. Uh, did I just? I didn't mean like that. I got too absorbed in my book. I'm reading porn. Haha. Uh -huh. I really like when you speak to me that way, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun sight. Oh god. I like my dialogue with the in-game dialogue is interesting. Well, that? There's no way you can think that. You were right, though. I've been a naughty girl. Now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. Yeah, that. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Punish me, Senpai! Punish me! Punish me, Senpai! Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she's bringing me to the club before she even told me. But! You wouldn't have come if, I weren't, if it weren't for the cupcakes. Oh, I see plenty of cupcakes. <laughs> so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. I don't see cupcakes, but I see a lot of cheesecake. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Clap. Yeah. I don't know where something smacks Sayori in the face and again, show, don't tell, game. Animate a few things. Oh, what was that? Eh? Uh, oh, a cookie. Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? Is it because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Aha! I was just gonna give it to you! But then I heard you blab about cupcakes! I was totally worth seeing your reaction though! Haha! Have a bitch! <coughs> that hurts. Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Alright, click, click, click. Well, let me summarize this, because I've gotten this far before. Uh, Sayori eats her cookie and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. I did it all for the cookie! All for the cookie! I think you mean all for the nookie. Yeah, I know. I'm just doing my own version. Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers! Unless you're in the wrong castle! Have you met Maya? Beggars can absolutely be choosers. <laughs> if you're watching this, Maya, we do love you. You just... This character fits you perfectly, though. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. Hehe. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and smacks her on the ass. Ah, jeez! I get it, I get it! You're thirsty! <laughs> oh no. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her.
All right. Um. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, Sayori bites the cookie. They yell at each other. Monica, can you tell Sayori to go fuck off? Monica is not in the club room. Yeah. Oh my goodness, good question. Where is Monica? Have any of you heard anything about her being light today? Not me! I just mixed both their voices. I haven't heard either. Hum. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. Like, fuck with her mind. <laughs> Not spoiling anything, am I? Clearly, she's watching metric ass tons of tentacle hentai. Yes. This is Japan, after all. That's completely normal. She's she's pretty popular, after all. God, I can't. I gotta really stop doing Natsuki. That hurts. Hey, you don't think she she has a? I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Ah, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me. Here, I gotta change your voice. Suddenly, the door swings open. Here comes Monica with a ton of hentai. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be like. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? <laughs> Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. <laughs> boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica was a... You're getting way too into character for this. Yeah. <laughs> Monica quizzically glances at me. Hi, Monica. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well... Jeez. <laughs> I read that wrong. My last period today was study all. I thought it said I had my period today. It was like, wow, game! <laughs> I had my period today. To be honest, I just lost I track of time. Uh-huh. Like, Sarah, have you heard of that guy? He has, like, the weirdest fucking voice. Who? Yeah, he sounds, like, super fucking bored whenever he makes videos. Oh, oh, yes, I do know who you're talking about. You're like, what the fuck is with that? I had my it's not just me, right? Today. All right. Uh, skipping a little bit of dialogue. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I, I don't really. Shit, I kind of. What the fuck? I kind of just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little... Oh, whatever. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. But that's so. In that case... I won't let you down, dirty old perv. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. So it is your head cannon for this game. They just invited a forty-year-old man. <laughs> the head cannon. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Aha! Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. Skip. <clears throat> Yuri's back to her book. Hey, Yuri. Hey. Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri's reading a different book from the one we were reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh my goodness, I'm now. I was just kind of waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? 
Yeah, baby. My viewer count's about to skyrocket. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh, okay, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> not at all. You know, some Earl Grey tea or some tea with a little bit of honey in it in general would probably go really good for my throat right now. If there's one thing I can make me reading, blah, blah, whatever the hell your line is, it's a cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? She hands me a strap on. Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric... Oh, God, okay. Electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. Alright, game. Can we do something now? Wait, hey, especially because her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have some have the water pitcher? Hum, where are you two off to? Eh? We're just Yuri was gonna make some tea, so I don't realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. You, me. This other woman makes three, baby. <laughs> We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell others there's something wrong with helping involve dirty old perv in club activities? Yeah, there probably is something wrong with involving a dirty old perv in your club activities. Um, uh, um. My mouth gapes. I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Humph. Then let's go, dirty old perv. Ah. Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow, staring at her ass. Which we won't animate. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it. But it was also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Dirty old perv. How come when even I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them. And you have big tits. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder which one's more important. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Once again, I have to give the disclaimer. I'm not actually that perverted. It's just the context of this kind of a game. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, I could play Honey Pop. Though, which of you? Uh, no, you can't. Yeah, that's right. Stay, uh, Twitch, Twitch would kick me off. I don't own it either, and I wouldn't buy it. You may want to set this to mature, by the way. You could do that in your settings mm -hmm. for Twitch. Your mind turns a light range. I wouldn't do Honey Pop, anyways. I might do Hatoful Boyfriend at some point, just because it's a pigeon dating simulator. Your mind turns a light rain shower into... Oh, that's me. Your mind turns... God, I hope I don't talk like this and I wake up. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Aw. No, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. You're new to dating. <laughs> what kind of a friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh hum. Yuri lifts her head. Dirty old perv. I really like being friends with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel awkward saying something like that. Oh my god, can we go? Yes. Walk. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Again, show, don't tell. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we were... <laughs> this game takes the speed racer uh, school of uh, animation. 
by not having animation? Yes. A dirty old perv. Do you like oolong tea? Sure. Anything is fine. Awesome. Super. I, I'm so happy. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees and smashes her face into it. More of a coffee drinker, but tea is fine. <sighs> Clicking ahead a little. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to finish the game tonight, but... I wanted to get into something a little weird before I end the stream. You're always worrying about me, dirty old perv. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Dirty old perv, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Because I have these giant tits. Have you seen here? I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. You can sit on my lap. I have a terrible reading posture. No, you have giant, unnaturally large boobs. <laughs> so that's why I was just sat on the floor. Fair enough. I, I mean, they're chocolate. nice clothes, doable. I can't see too well. Uh, Yuri slides closer to our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on- Oh, that's me. How am I focus, supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup! Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it in my hand as, uh, that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Then just enjoy the view. <laughs> Should get one of the guinea pigs just to make noises for the lines. Be like Animal Crossing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the wor world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. I put the teacup between my legs. Well, yeah, because you're probably holding it up with something else right now. <laughs> and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finishing the wrap, opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. We all make mistakes. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Oh my goodness, of course. Hey, stuff is happening. Yuri opens the book with her hands. Well, both hands. Well, what else is she going to open it with? She holds the book so I don't have to any harder time reading from it. And as a result, her left arm is pra uh, practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. So, just as I've been clicking here, and as what it looks like, my character was eating chocolate and decided to shove a piece of chocolate in Yuri's mouth. To be romantic. Turns out she's type 1 diabetic and just goes into a coma. Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, dirty old perv. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Um, that's, well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right. I mean, not really in this kind of context, but sure. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh-huh. But then, you don't need to stop or anything. I see. Situation's gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression she can't even focus right now. My heart is pounding. 
And nervously, I take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. Put it in her mouth! Okay, everyone! Ooh, uh. Uh huh? Yuri jolts back. It's time to share po- Oh yeah, I forgot we did a poem. It's time to share poems. Dirty old poor- Poor- <laughs> You can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cops. Yeah. Yuri picks the teacup off the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without much of a word between us. You just got clam jam, bro. Or no, that'd be cock block. She got clam jam. Who should I show my poem to first? How about the needy one? Hi again, dirty old perv. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's nothing. Bye. As long as right, okay, I'm whatever. Up tonight. Take care. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. No. You never know. All right. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style. How do you like my style? But the imagery is better than the last one I read. I'm just wondering, have you ever been f finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Now my character is apparently finding interest in a lot of Yuri. Totally, I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a different person when she picks up a penis. I mean, pen. Uh, when she's taking talking about literature. Uh huh. Sadly, I'm gonna finish this conversation, and I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream for tonight. But still defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood. I don't lie. Uh huh. Calm down. I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. One that's in Canada. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but, well, there's nothing really wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I'm just saying. But anyway, I want to read my poem now. I suppose I should. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's let's take a look. Save me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! <laughs> Sorry. Save me! The colors they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing, so, dubstep? Like playing vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Alright, I'm curious. We're gonna save. It's even more abstract than your last one. Uh huh. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I never really seen before, I guess. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Hey, Monica, shut up! <laughs> Alright everybody, I want to thank you for tuning into the stream tonight. 
We had a little bit of a hiccup with it freezing and then starting back up here. So this is broken up into two parts, but it's technically one long stream today. But we will go ahead and later in the week and continue where we left off here and <laughs> join Dirty Old Perv and his three lovely ladies on their weeaboo dirty. This has been Chocobo Choke Slam. Signing out. Have a good night. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in and I want to thank Hugh and Sarah for joining me here tonight. Everybody take it easy.